Hi, in this video we're going to spend a bit of time looking at the difference between using coloured gels on a white background and on a grey background and understand which one's better. So let's get to it. Hi, John Tisbury here. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about photography, cinema photography, then start today by subscribing, click that notification bell icon to be notified of new updates as and when I upload them. So today I'm with Jocelyn. Hello. And we're going to show you the difference between using a white background and a grey background with coloured gels. And the gels, um, I'm actually in the wrong place, so Jocelyn if we could just pick those up. This is what we're using. We're just using two to demonstrate the uh, very nice. To, de <laughs> to demonstrate the example, uh, we've got a blue and a, a pale pink, and we're going to project both of those onto the backgrounds behind me. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice we've got grey, and underneath that I've also got white. So we're just going to work between the two. So it's a fairly short video, and hopefully at the end of it you'll know the benefits of using one background colour over the other. The photographs that I take I'll bring up on screen as well so you can see them. So at the moment we've got video lights on and I'm going to sort of nip between video lights and uh, still lights and um, yeah, I think that's probably about it uh, in terms of the key bits. In terms of the setup, um, here I've got this backlight which is going to be firing onto our grey background. It has got a gel already set up on it, same colour. And then we've got a main light just off camera here, which is a grid, a softbox grid, just to do a main um, front light for, for uh, Joss. And that's about it. So let's get on with it. Well, as we've got the grey down here at the moment, we'll do the grey first. You can place your bets, which one you think would be better, grey or white. Any thoughts? Um, yeah, actually, yes. I'm really interested in this because I'm not sure of the answer. I know more people have been using grey with me of late, mm -hmm. but it seems... Like, surely, logically, this is going to be... I feel like this is going to be better on white. Yeah. Because I feel like the grey just won't let this show up. So mm. that's my prejudice, and I'm really interested to see what yeah. it does. Yeah, absolutely. And this is one of the quandaries that I had when I first started doing studio photography. And uh, it came as a bit of a revelation when I found out, oh, right, OK, that's the better option. So uh, hopefully you'll have that Voyager discovery as well if you don't already know the answer. So place your bets, and uh, let's crack on. Woo! That. Uh, we haven't had a power cut or um, <laughs> anything like that. It's very complicated. Yes, mm. I've just cut uh, some of the lights, the video lights, um, so we can see what we're doing. Um, but still get enough light so you can see what we're doing, as it were, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Probably not. It made beautiful sense, John. Oh, good. Well, then. So I'm so, going to stand in front of this, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So Joss is now covering that back light. It's got a pink gel on it, and I'm lighting her with a softbox, which is off to camera right, as you look at it, guys. And I'm now just going to take a head and shoulder, head and <laughs> shoulders, even. <laughs> of Joss. That's with the grey background. And as the, the wonders of magic, seamlessly. Amazing. Yeah. Get the camera. And I'm going to do the same thing with white. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, and now we're going to swap to the blue. Mm -hmm. Nothing up my sleeve. I feel like a magician here. Yeah. Remove the pinky one. I was also interested, it's quite a, a light pink, isn't it? Which, yeah, yeah. Which I thought is. might disappear, well, I, I still think might disappear on, yes. especially on the grey. Yeah. So the um, backlight is um, set at half a stop um, under the, the main light. So the main light is set at f8. I didn't tell you this earlier. You've probably got the back of my shoulder now. There you go. So that's on the white. Mm -hmm. You can see how low budget this is. I have to do all of this. Ah. Ah. 
The two um, back drops are really close to each other. There's not much difference between them um, in terms of one being further away than the other, just in case there's any trickery here. And last one then, so blue on the grey. Perfect. Mm. I'll just put in another light in, so I can wandering around no. like a lunatic. No, no. <laughs> Yes, it's not. <laughs> That's fine. No more than normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll bring those up on screen so you can have a look at them. We'll do the pink one first. And then we will do the same shot but with the white background. So pink on grey first, white on pink. On pink. White. pink. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> very complicated, very small brain. Yeah. And hopefully you can see the difference there. And then we'll do exactly the same with the blue. So blue on grey, and then blue on white, or white on blue, whichever way you want to do it. And hopefully, with the wonders of uh, technology, uh, you will see that the grey is just substantially better at soaking up the colour. And it will saturate the colours much more. Even that very pale pink, do you, do you want to pick up the yeah. pale pink? Yeah. Which is hardly noticeable, is it, when you... No. When you look at it. Um, it really saturates the colours and gives you a nice um, look to your image on grey. On white, you can hardly see it. It gets washed out. Grey is your option, basically. From my experience, if you want just like two background colours, I would get a grey. This is a, a sort of 50% medium grey. And a white. Because um, if you want black, well then don't put light on it, it'll turn it black. If you want white, then you've got white. And then if you've got a grey, then you can just use gels and get any colour background you want. Marvellous. Hmm. Saving loads of money. The gels, incidentally, I didn't say, um, they're Lee um, gels. So the people that do the, uh, the film studio lighting gels. There's other manufacturers as well you can get gels from. But get good quality ones, because if you get cheap ones, they tend to bleed and not have a consistent colour. So they're the professional ones used in the film industry. And they're not expensive, so uh, worth buying. OK, that's it. That's it. Nice and short. If you found this useful, then click that old subscribe button. Hit the notification bell icon to be notified of new updates. And we shall see you on the next one. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.